Now we're ready to add our soapy water and start the process of agitating our felt to make the fibers of the wool come together as a piece of felt fabric. First, I've got my water in this bottle. It's just an old soap bottle, but I filled it all the way to here with tap water. Then I'm just going to add a little bit of dish soap. Any old dish soap, I always just get whatever is cheapest for classroom uses. So this is, I think it's from the dollar store or something like that. Happens to be the end of my soap, but that was plenty. I'd say it's about two tablespoons or maybe even less. Cap my bottle. And I don't want to shake it around, but rather roll, gently swish, so it doesn't get all bubbly. And I have my picture already in the bag. And if I just take this and squirt water in, it can push the wool down to the bottom of the bag, and I don't want that. So what I'm going to do is add the water from the back. We do not want to add a lot. You only want enough to saturate the wool that's there, and that is all. So carefully squirt the water in from the back. I'm squirting it against the bag so that doesn't mess up all the work I've done on the wool. Then I can work from the front. Gently push to saturate the whole thing. And just find where there's too much water and gently persuade it to go where there's not any. And lift and let gravity help and see the water starts to pool on the bottom Okay, once the whole thing is saturated with the soapy water, we're going to zip up the bag. First, it's important to know that you do not want any of your wool fibers to be on that zipper because they'll keep it from shrinking down as it felts. So you wanna take the time to push gently the edge of your felt or wool at this, at this point down into your bag. You can even carefully ease the whole piece further down in the bag. Then zip the bag, all except for a little bit at the end. So this part still has air able to escape. And then you push the air, the water that's extra, and the bubbles all toward that spot, and ease them out, and finish zipping up your bag. <clears throat> now it's time to agitate. Agitating the wool inside of the bag is what will help it turn into felt. So I'm taking this, and I know that it will be finished when it has shrunken down about that much. So when I start to see air or clear bag all around, I'll know that it's done or at least close and then I can take it to the sink. Okay, to agitate, we take our hands, place them down on the back. I always stand up when I'm doing this. That way I can use the weight of my body to push down harder, adding more pressure 
and then you work your hands in opposite directions. So I'm going like this with my hands. Does not work nearly as well if you go in the same direction, so make sure you're alternating. Work slowly and be patient. You work from all sides of the bag and expect it to take about 10 to 15 minutes. You can stop at any time to readjust or move things around. For example, I've noticed that inside of the bag, you can see, you see there are a few tiny strands of wool stuck in the zipper. I need to readjust that. And also, this end isn't shrinking quite as well as this end because the zipper is here and it makes the bag very rigid at that side. So I'm going to flip that to the other side and then continue. Let's take it right out, flip it over, and put the side that was up by the zipper down into the bottom of the bag. Other than that, it's felting quite nicely. I can feel that the fibers are coming together, holding one another still. And in a few more minutes, I'll be able to rinse it out. Just like before, press all of the air and excess water out. I just use old towels for this that I've cut up into pieces. And continue with the agitating. So I can see that there is a lot of space on both edges here. It's lifted all the way up to the top, which is fine, but I, I can tell that there's plenty of room and that it has properly shrunken. So next is to go to the sink and rinse it out. At the sink, you'll see that there are paper towel tubes to place the bags on so that they can dry because we will reuse them. So first thing is to rinse out both your bag and your felt. Assuming you've done this correctly, your item in your bag is now a piece of fabric. It won't come apart. Um, so don't be afraid to just pour some water in there. Rinse the soap out of your bag. Then upside down, place it over the paper towel tube so that it can drip dry and air dry before the next person will use it. Then your felt, just run it under the water, rinsing away all of the soap. And then just wring it out really well. Squeeze all of the water out. Don't be afraid, you're not going to ruin it. Then I'm going to show you how to block it, press it dry, and we're done. Okay, so blocking is just gently stretching and pulling to make it the shape that you desire. Be gentle with your work, even though it is pretty strong and sturdy now. There. And your edges will be an organic sort of flowy shape. They won't be very angular. And that's part of it. It looks great like that. So I always discourage people from cutting straight edges rather appreciate the way that they come out naturally. And take your towel, press to get out any excess water. And we're done.
The next thing is to decide what you're going to do with your beautiful felted item.